This is a strong vinyasa practice. We'll begin by starting in a comfortable seated position. Okay, now if you find that your knees are up by your ears or you feel like you're kind of slumping into your low back and your posture feels really rounded, then uh, bring a cushion or block or whatever you've got underneath your hip bones so you can sit a little taller and try and relax your hips and then let the palms relax down, shoulders relax down and close your eyes. Okay, so line up the spine so the posture is nice and tall. And bring your attention to your breath. Notice each breath in and out, so try and be present. And then we're going to breathe together for a count of four. So in your own time, take a breath out. And then inhale for two, three, four. Exhale for two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, and continue to inhale, and exhale. See if you can take one more in your own time. And remember today's practice might be a bit stronger, so listen to your body all the way through. Try not to get too competitive because we don't really use competition in yoga. So let go of your ego and only do what feels good and right for you. So inhale, open the eyes, lift the gaze, sit tall. Exhale, twist towards your right, bring left hand towards right knee, right hand behind you. So Twisting the chest towards the right side. Keep your spine tall, find some space. Breathe, couple of breaths. And then inhale, center, and exhale, twist to the left. So turn the chest to the left, right hand to left knee, left hand behind you, sit tall, lift the chest. And then come back to centre and make your way onto hands and knees. Move any props out of the way. Line up the knees underneath the hips, wrists under shoulders. Hands could be slightly further in front. Uh, check that the hands aren't too close to the knees because of the wrists. Okay, release the toes, and as you inhale, tip the pelvis forward, lift the heart, lift the chest, lift the gaze, so create an arch in your low back. And exhale, tuck tailbone under, round the upper back, release the head. Inhale, tip pelvis forward, lift the chest, arch the spine. Exhale, tuck tailbone under, round the upper back, release the head. And take one more. Try and move with your breath so your breath and movement match the same pace. And 
And then if you want to add a bit more, you could inhale and lift your right leg up towards the sky. The chest can lift, so the low back can arch. And then exhale, draw the knee towards the nose, round your upper back, press through the hands, lift the tummy towards the spine. Inhale, lift the right leg up behind you, lift the chest, let the low back arch. Exhale, round the spine, press through the hands, lift out the shoulders and draw the tummy towards the spine. One more, inhale. Exhale, round and lift. And then release, right knee back down and change sides. So inhale, lift the left leg up, lift the chest. Exhale, round the spine. Let the left knee draw towards the nose, round the upper back. Inhale, lift the left leg up and behind you. Exhale, draw the knee to the nose. One more inhale. And exhale, round the spine. Lift out of shoulders, draw the navel towards the body. And then release. Great, right, bring your hands a little bit in front of you. Tuck the toes, draw the navel towards the body and try and lift out of your shoulders. We're firing up the deep serratus anterior muscles in the shoulder girdle. It's the muscles we need for things like arm balances. I just can't need to warm those up. <laughs> then as you inhale, tuck toes, lift the knees a couple of inches off the mat. Try and feel the hips and the shoulders kind of lift towards the sky. Gaze is slightly forward. Breathe. And then release knees down. One more inhale to prepare. Exhale, lift the knees, press the ground away. Try and lift out of the shoulders. Draw the navel towards the body. And then release the knees down. Great from here, hands come a bit further in front, ready for a downward dog. So spread the fingers wide, press the thumb, index finger down into the mat. Inhale, lift the knees. Exhale, keep the knees slightly bent. Heels can be lifted and work on sending the hips back so you make the sides of the body feel long. You can pedal out the feet here, warm up the legs. Keep the breath nice and steady. And then find a little stillness, so taking the hips back, holding your downward dog, pressing the hands towards the earth and maybe pressing the toes into the earth as well, firing up the legs. And you can stay here and keep both hands on the mat or you might bring your left hand towards your right shin or thigh and try and twist slightly towards your right get a breathe in breathe out return the left hand down inhale and exhale you might bring your right hand towards your left shin try and open the body towards the left so twisting to the left And then return the hand back to downward dog. Great, inhale, bend the knees, look forwards, walk or step, feet to hands. And exhale, let your knees bend, fold the body down. So if your hamstrings are tight, just let the knees bend. So tummy comes towards the thighs. And if you can keep that, uh, position there you might edge knees a little straighter but don't worry if they're bent you could also use a block if you've got one or a stack of books or something so you could have a prop in your forward fold if you like okay so take a breath in here and breath out one more breath in Breath out. 
Okay, keep the knees slightly soft and inhale, lengthen your spine. So we're in a kind of halfway position. Again, use the block if you've got something to uh, act as a prop there. Um, you might manage to have straighter knees, that's fine. If your hamstrings are quite flexible, you can always have the knees slightly straighter, but I usually tend to let mine bend a little bit. So make the spine feel really long, lift the front of the body, try and find more space across the front of the body and draw the tummy in gently. And then bring left hand onto prop or fingertips onto mat. Keep a length in your spine. Keep your pelvis and knees still. And as you inhale, reach your right arm up. So you're rotating the chest towards the right, uh, but you're trying not to let your knees or pelvis um, follow. Okay, so have a look at your knees and if your left knee has come in front of the right, uh, draw it back. Exhale, bring left, uh, right hand down. Again, slight bend in both knees if you like. Inhale, lift left arm up. Try and lift the chest a little bit so the spine is long, the upper back is long and lifted. And exhale and release. Move any props. And inhale, soften knees, lengthen spine, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands to heart or sides. Mountain pose, Tadasana. Standing tall. Pressing the feet down into the mat, feeling the legs engage. Shoulders release. As you breathe in, keep your feet pressed down, reach the arms up. And as you exhale, soft knees, fold the body down. Keep the weight in the center of the feet. Inhale, lengthen spine halfway, lift the upper back. And exhale, fold the body down. Inhale, lengthen spine, then reach the arms up. Exhale, Tadasana, mountain pose. Release the arms. One more of those. Inhale, reach the arms up, press into the feet. Exhale, soften knees, fold the body down, release the head. Inhale, lengthen spine halfway. Knees can still be bent here, that's fine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen spine, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands to heart or sides. A sun salutation A. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen spine, halfway. Exhale, hands down, step or flow back into your plank. So lift the chest, lift the gaze, lift out of shoulders. Exhale, lower knees, chin and chest. Inhale, cobra, lift the head and shoulders off the mat, draw the shoulders to the waist. Exhale, tuck the toes, try and lift up from the hips into downward facing dog. Three breaths, rest if you need to. Inhale, exhale, one, inhale, exhale, two, inhale, Exhale. Three. Inhale, look forwards. Bring your feet towards your hands. Walk, step or float. Exhale, fold. Release the head. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, Tadasana. Mountain pose. And again, inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. 
inhale lengthen spine halfway lift exhale hands down step will float back into your plank exhale lower knees chin and chest or low plank inhale lift the heart of the chest cobra exhale push down through hands lift up through the hips into downward dog Good. engage the front of the thighs knees can still be bent as you do that so don't push through anything do listen to your body build up the practices slowly two and then one more breath inhale and exhale three Inhale, look forwards, bend the knees, walk, step or jump, feet to hands. Exhale, fold, release the head. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, Tadasana, Mountain Pose. One more of these. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold, Uttanasana, release the head. Inhale, lengthen spine. Remember, knees can be bent here. Exhale, hands down. Step or float back into your plank. And you can lower with the knees or maybe you bring weight forward a little bit. Lower into low plank, not too low. Keep looking forwards and inhale, upward dog. So the knees and the thighs lift in upward dog. So the thighs are really engaged. Exhale, hips move back. Downward dog, you can rest the knees down if you want. A couple of breaths. Exhale for one, two more breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Two, drawing the hips back. Inhale. Exhale three inhale soften knees look forwards bring feet to hands exhale fold inhale reach the arms up exhale tadasana release the arms down take a couple of breaths And bring your feet closer together and inhale bend the knees take the hips back reach the arms up lift the chest see if you can reach the arms as high as you can take the arms maybe out a little wider and remember take the hips back so you're using the glutes exhale fold the body release the head knees might straighten a little bit Inhale, lengthen spine, halfway lift. Exhale, hands come down, step or float back into plank. And your choice of lower, use the knees if you like, or low plank. Inhale, upward dog or cobra. Exhale, hips move back. And then turn your left toes to face out. Inhale, step your right leg forwards. Lift the body, warrior one. Exhale, lower the hands. Step the right leg back and lower the body. Your choice. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, lifting up through the hips, downward dog. Turn your right toes to face out. Inhale, step left leg forwards and reach the arms up, warrior one. Back heels down. Exhale, lower hands, step back, lower the body. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, hips move back. You might hold your downward dog. You might take knees down and rest. Child's pose. And wherever you are, bring the control into the breath. And 
And then as you inhale, you soften knees, look forwards, walk, step, or float the feet to the hands. Exhale, fold. Inhale, bend the knees, take the hips back, reach the arms up. Exhale, mountain pose, Tadasana. Inhale, bend the knees, take the hips back, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold, release the head. Inhale, lengthen spine, halfway lift. Exhale, hands down, step or jump back into plank. Lower the body. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, hips move back. This time, don't turn the toes on the left foot. Keep the foot pointing forwards. Let the heel lift on the left foot. Inhale, reach the right leg. And exhale, step right leg forward. So runners lunge. Lift the chest and draw that right hip back. So you're using the glute muscles. And if you want a bit more, you might hover your hands a couple of inches off the mat. If you go too high, it's easy. Uh, <laughs> um, if you hover the fingers just off the mat, you'll feel using these uh, glute muscles around the hips. Good, breathe in, lift the gaze. Breathe out, let your back knee release down. Pad the knee if you want. You can fold the long edge of the mat if you need to. And then come into your low lunge, your hip flexor stretch. So hands can come onto the right side, close to the hip and lift the pubic bone up, draw the shoulder blades down. If you feel a bit wobbly, you can make stance wider. If you want more, stance can be longer and you can bring a little more weight into the front foot. Okay, press into the front foot and heel and maybe you manage to press into the back shin a little bit as well so you feel although we're in a stretch we're stabilizing the pelvis okay one more breath in and breath out good inhale reach the arms up exhale frame the right foot with your hands tuck back toes under and step right leg back into your downward dog. Inhale, lift the left leg up and step left leg forward, as much control as you can. Lift the chest, find your runner's lunge and the back um, knee is quite straight so you're kind of letting the back heel stay lifted off the mat but sending the heel in the direction of the back of the mat so your legs nice and active left hip draws back towards the socket so use those left glutes if you want a bit more you could hover those fingers just slightly off the mat and breathe good inhale exhale bring the hands down Release the right knee down, pad the knee if you want to. Release those back toes and come into your low lunge. Okay, so find the stretch through the right psoas, hip flexor. Maybe lift the pubic bone, lift the sternum. Take a few breaths. And then if you want to go a bit more, you can root that left foot and heel down into the mat and maybe even the right shin down as well. So you've got this quite active stretch around the hips, pelvis. One more breath. Okay, inhale, reach the arms up and exhale, frame the hands around that left foot tuck the back toes under, pick up the back knee and then step the left leg back into 
downward dog hips moving back good take a breath in and a breath out and as you inhale soften knees look forward walk step or float feet to hands exhale as you fold release the head back down inhale soften knees reach the arms up exhale mountain pose release the arms down by sides inhale bend the knees take the hips back reach the arms up exhale fold release the head down inhale lengthen spine halfway exhale hands down step or float back into your plank your version of lowering so you might do low plank you might inhale full cobra or upward dog thighs lifting upward dog exhale hips move back downward facing dog Okay, as you inhale, lift your right leg up for three-legged dog. Try and straighten your right knee. So this encourages the glutes and the hips to engage. Okay, so in order to do that as well, try not to let the hips open out to side. So the hips are in line. So that right hip needs to stay down in line with left hip. Three-legged dog. As you exhale, bring the knee towards the nose. Let your body weight shift forward. Lift the hips and push through the shoulders so you're rounding through your upper back. And then inhale, send the right leg behind you again. Lift the leg. Ex, draw the knee towards the nose. Maybe the knee touches the nose or not. Inhale, send the leg up and back. This time, exhale, step right leg forwards, come into high lunge, so lift the torso up, reach the arms up. Back heel can be lifted, check that your spine is long, so you're not leaning too far forwards. Uh, however, if you need to make this feel better on the back or hips, you can always shorten your stance a bit. Okay, great. Knee doesn't need to overshoot that ankle, so knee in line with the ankle. Take a breath in. Okay, breathe out, bring hands to heart, thumbs to sternum. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, try and twist towards your right, so your left elbow comes towards the right knee. And try and keep your thumbs in the middle of the sternum so you twist to wherever you can get to keeping the thumbs in that position good take a breath lift the heart lift the chest and keep that back leg nice and strong so fire up through the front of the left thigh Right, and then come back to your high lunge and then open the body into warrior two so back heel comes down arms come towards the alignment of the shoulders torso can twist to the left slightly take a breath in and a breath out great inhale let the right knee straighten slightly lean the torso forwards and exhale, come into your triangle pose. So the chest lifts and you can look to whatever you're comfortable. Ground into the feet, so keep the legs nice and strong and just check you're not locking out into that front knee. So knees straight but soft. Great, from here, release the left arm down towards left hip and then carefully bring your right hand down towards the mat or to a block if you've got one step your back leg in a little bit so make your stance a bit shorter and you can bend that front knee 
Great, and then we're going to try and lift the back foot up. So our hand or the block is in front of our right foot and a little out to the right side. So we've got space there. Go left ankle might lift <laughs> in line with left hip. See how you go. And if it's if that's not happening, that is cool. So you could keep your back foot down if you prefer today and transfer the weight into the right foot so you've got the right glute muscle activating otherwise a bit further is half moon press the left heel back and maybe if you go further you might turn the torso to left side a little bit so you've got the left side of the chest opening out and then maybe reaching the left arm up so you just Make sure you're safe doing this. Breathe. And then with control, carefully let front knee bend, bring back foot down, lift the body up, and then release the arm. Okay, square up your stance. So you're going to make your stance nice and short and you're going to try and square up your hips to face the front. Bring your hands behind you. Either take elbows or some of you might try reverse prayer. And again, don't worry if not. Lift the chest. Exhale, let the right knee bend a little bit and then forward fold, so come into a hamstring stretch for front leg. Keep that right hip drawing back as you come into this and back leg is quite straight. Great. If you want a bit more, the front knee might edge a little straighter, uh, but if the hamstrings are tight or the low back is tight, a soft bend in the knee can help. Good, take a couple of breaths and remember not to overstretch the body in any way. Listen to yourself and do what feels good. One more breath here. And as you inhale, carefully draw the navel into the body, lift the, the torso and then release the hands and step forward into mountain pose. Inhale, bend knees, take hips back, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold, release the head. Inhale, lengthen spine halfway. Exhale, hands down, step or float back into your plank. Lower the body, your choice. Inhale, cobra or upward dog, lift the chest. Exhale, tuck the toes, push the hips back, downward dog. Inhale, lift the left leg up into a three-legged dog. Keep that left knee straight. Lift the leg as high as you can, but keep the pelvis level. So left hip needs to stay down. Okay, in line with the right hip. Good, inhale. Exhale, draw the knee towards the nose. Lift the, uh, round the upper back. And inhale, send the left leg back behind you. Exhale, draw the knee to the nose, let the body weight shift forwards. Inhale, lift the left leg behind you. Exhale, one more, draw the knee to the nose, lift up through the tummy muscles. Inhale, bring the leg behind you. And exhale, step that left leg forwards in front between the hands. Inhale, lifting up into your high lunge. Check in with the front knee. So check knee is in alignment with that front ankle. Back heels lifted if possible. Good, take a couple of breaths. 
keep the spine nice and tall, nice and long. And then as you exhale, bring palms together, bring hands to heart and bring the thumbs in line with the sternum. Thumbs stay there and try not to move to the sides. Inhale, lift the chest and exhale, keep your spine really long and tall. Maybe bring right elbow towards the direction of the left knee. Doesn't matter if it doesn't touch. So you could be a lot higher here, that's fine. Good, pressing the back heel back. Breathing in, lifting the sternum and breathing out. And as you inhale, reaching up into high lunge and exhale, warrior two. Back heel comes down, torso opens to the right side. Front knee stays towards that uh, front ankle. Good, breathe in here and then breathe out. Let your front knee straighten into triangle. Lean the torso forward, exhale. Release the left hand towards the knee, shin, ankle. Reaching right arm up. A couple of breaths. So this front knee is straight but not locking out into the joint. Okay, release the right hand towards the right hip. Bend your front knee, bring your hand fingertips onto the mat or onto a block and then make your stance a bit shorter. Use a prop if you like when the hand or block comes forwards and out to the left side. And then we're going to lighten up the weight through the back foot. So bring a slight bend into the left knee and then bring a little bit of weight into your left foot. And you can play with this. Okay, if you want to add more, you might come into half moon. So you lift that right foot off of the mat. And trying to line up the right hip over the left hip. And opening that right shoulder so shoulder comes in line with the left shoulder. And if you want more, reach the right arm up. Wobbling's okay. And then with control, bend the front knee, bring the uh, right foot back down towards the mat, come into warrior two. Release the arms and then shorten your stance. Okay, square up your hips to face forwards and allow a bit of space between your two feet. And you're gonna draw that left hip back, right hip forward. And then bring hands behind you, either, into, um, either grab hold of your elbows or reverse prayer. It's not essential to bring the hands into that position. So wherever you can is fine. Inhale, lift the chest and with a nice long spine, exhale, fold the body over the left leg and start with a bend in that left knee and see how you go. So if you've got a nice hamstring stretch there, you might keep the knee slightly bent. You might edge the knee a little straighter. And if you're folding to here, this is fine. Uh, so you just come into where you feel a stretch, not, not where I get to, just focus on yourself and breathe. And come into a stretch that feels right for you, making sure it's not too strong. Great, and then as you inhale, lift the torso, exhale, really step forward into Tadasana. Take a couple of breaths. Okay, 
Okay, and then we're going to step out with our right leg and face the long edge of the mat. Let the toes turn in. And then bring your hands behind you, interlacing the fingers. Inhale to lift the chest. And then exhale, keep the spine long. Bend the knees as much as you want here. And then exhale, forward fold, wide leg forward fold. Okay, so check in with your low back. And if you prefer, you might let the knees bend if things feel a bit tight here. Okay, and you can widen the space across the front of the body and the collarbones. And then if your shoulders allow you to, you might lift the arms a little away from your body. But again, exploring a stretch, uh, but no pain in the shoulders. A couple of breaths. And to find strength, just check that you're not letting your weight hang back into your heels. So use the center of the feet. Get any tension out of those shoulders. And one more breath here. Really carefully, bring the hands towards the mat in front of you, lengthen your spine. And then walk your hands towards the front of your mat again, pivot on both feet. So both feet now face forwards, hands frame the front foot. Step it back into your plank. Okay, and then let your knees come down. Take your knees a little wider and rest into child's pose. Relax your head down towards the ground. You can always bring your hands underneath your forehead. And let everything go, so you soften your breath. And try and send your breath into the back of your body so the ribs expand. And as you exhale, the shoulders release. Okay, and when you are ready, Come into your plank position. If your wrists are sore, you could always come into forearm plank. If you feel all right, you could come into high plank where your uh, wrists are in alignment with your shoulders, your heels press back, your chest lifts. Good, so just check not sinking into shoulders, nice and strong there. Okay, great. And then let your heels come over to your left side. You can walk your left hand in towards the centre a little bit and see if you can come into your side plank. So bring your hips forward, your heart lifts, maybe reach the top arm up. Take a couple of breaths. And if this was uh, too much on the wrist, you can always be on forearm plank. Lift out of that bottom shoulder, so left shoulder. And then release, come back to your high plank or your forearm plank in the center, breathe in. And then breathe out, let your heels release towards your right side. You can walk right hand in a little bit. Lift left arm up, high plank or forearm plank, your choice. Lift the chest, bring, bring the hips forward a little bit and just check you're lifting out of that right shoulder. Breathing in. Breathing out. And then come into your plank position and then try and take a nice slow, low plank all the way to the mat. So weight comes forward a little bit and then as slow as you can, low plank.
<sighs> Great, really nice. So bring the full head to the mat and then release your arms by your sides and the palms can face up. Get your breath back. Okay, and without tucking toes, keep your front of your feet in contact with the mat. So without tucking them under, press the front of your feet into the mat. Inhale, lift the head and the shoulders. Maybe a little back bend. Listen to your low back on this one. Come down if you need to. Try and draw the shoulders to the waist to open the front of the body. And if you want to, you can stay here. Or you might lift your arms as well, just making that a little stronger. Breathe. And then release. Bring the forehead towards the mat. Rest if you want to. A couple more, so inhale, drawing shoulders towards waist, press front of feet down without tucking toes, lift the head, lift the shoulders, maybe lift the arms. And if you want, you might lift the legs, but keep your knees straight. Okay, so again, bending the knees will recruit our hammies. Uh, we want the glutes to fire, so knees are straight, good. Breathe, and then release. Great. One more if you've got it. Okay. Inhale, lift chest. Your choice. You can take this steadier if you want. You might have a go once more. And changing the position of the feet makes a difference. So you could play with toes pointed or heels pressed back. And release. Good. Let that go. And bring the hands either side of your shoulders, push yourself up, but keep the knees down and come into child's pose. So knees a bit closer together on this one. Head on hands or hands in front, up to you. Or if it feels okay, you might bring the arms by the sides, let the low back round a little bit here. Take a couple of breaths. Let your uh, low back relax and settle. Okay, bring the hands in front. Come on to your forearms and your knees. Elbows and wrists are in a straight line and elbows are roughly under shoulders. Tuck the toes and see if you can press your forearms and hands and elbows down into the mat. So your shoulders um, lift away from the uh, ground. So we're lifting out of our shoulders. So we're working deep into the shoulder blades. Okay, and see if you can keep that lift look forward slightly and then maybe you lift your knees and come into your uh, dolphin pose so a bit like downward dog but on forearms okay hips uh, can press back knees can be bent if you prefer okay and keep lifting out of your shoulders here as you breathe keep your breath really steady under control Good. One more breath. And then release the knees back down, child's pose. Okay, and from here, we're going to come into downward dog. Whenever you're ready, lifting the knees, hips back. And then inhale to look forwards, bend knees, walk, step or float your feet to your hands. And exhale here. Now let your feet um, come a tiny bit wider and bring your hands in front. So you've got a little space between your hands and your feet. 
you might be working here on the range of motion to kind of let your knees bend and bring your knees towards the elbows okay so stay here if you like now if you are familiar with bakasana crow pose or you want to try it um, then what you might be working towards is bringing a little weight into the hands and bringing the knee towards the armpit so the knee actually balances up on the tricep muscle in the arm okay now you might find that position one day <laughs> look forward slightly and then if you want to go any further it might be that you lift one foot up off of the mat have a little play and then it might be that you lift the other foot up off the mat and a little tip is to keep looking forward so you don't sort of follow the gaze which is if you're looking down you're gonna go that way <laughs> so you're looking forwards so a little bit of play time okay and it takes a long long time to practice this so don't be too impatient you need to practice practice safely <laughs> and then maybe one more great and if you've got more you're lifting your hips as high as you can maybe you hold right and you can release or jump back into plank take a vinyasa and then make your way onto your back lying on your back Whew. so from here coming into our hammy stretch we're gonna bring the right knee towards us hold on to the back of the right thigh bring the foot towards the sky uh, but no worries if the knee stays generously bent that's fine so find a stretch that feels good for you stretching into the hamstrings shoulders relax arms relax and if you want a little more the left leg can straighten out left heel press forwards if you feel the back needs more support, you can keep that knee bent. And take a few breaths. Let your breath soften. Let your shoulders relax. Rebend left knee first, bring left foot towards the mat. And then release the hands, bend the right knee and bring the right ankle towards the left knee or thigh and check your knee feels okay with these stretches if there's any discomfort on the knee joint then you come out okay so this shouldn't hurt the knee this is uh, to stretch into the side of the hip and back of the hip okay so stay here if you feel a decent stretch in your right hip or thread the hands around that left thigh bring left thigh a little bit closer towards you for a bit more, only if you can keep your head, shoulders quite relaxed. Good, take a couple of breaths. This right hand is coming through the space between the thighs. Okay, when you've done enough here, release left foot down and then right foot down. And then take hamstring stretch on left side. So left knee towards you, bring the hands behind the left thigh. You can uh, bend the knee if you need to. And then your choice, you can take that right leg out straight, press right heel forwards. Take a few breaths. Really make sure that your neck and shoulders are relaxed. They don't need to do too much here. OK, 
Okay, when you've done enough for equal work, re-bend your right knee first, place right foot back onto the mat, and then release your hands and bring the left ankle towards the right knee or thigh. Okay, relax your head, shoulders again, and see how this feels. Any tension on the knee, then obviously come out of this. And um, if you feel a big stretch in the left hip, stay here. If you want to go a bit more, grab the right thigh, and bring right thigh towards you. Take a couple of breaths, relax the upper body. And breathe nice and long breaths. And when you're ready, release the feet down. Keep the knees bent, bring the feet together. Take the arms out wide, either side. And then inhale. And exhale, let your knees fall over to your left side, coming into your supine twist. This might well be enough, or if you do feel uh, like you've got a fair bit of rotation there, or you want a bit more, you could bring your right leg over your left. Your eyes close. And then carefully release, bring the knees to centre. And then let knees fall over to your right side. You might look to the left. You might cross left leg over, but go with the version where you feel you can just relax your legs um, fully. So, so you're not kind of tensing your muscles to bring you into any position, and just letting gravity help you soften. And take a couple of deeper breaths here. Carefully release, and when you've done equal work, come into Shavasana relaxation. So you can straighten your knees or have knees bent. You can allow space between your ankles and space between the arms and the body. And close your eyes, and really relax your neck and your head. And take a deep breath in through your nose. And a really deep breath out through your mouth, maybe sigh through the mouth. And one more inhale. And exhale. And let everything go. Try and let the space between the thoughts increase so that the thoughts come and go from the mind. And you can just be here on your mat. being present, being the calmest version of you. Let the back of your head be heavy, 
shoulders and your chest muscles relaxing. Relaxing through your elbows, your hands. Your tummy. Letting go of the muscles around the hips, thighs, ankles. Allowing yourself to drift towards that point similar to if we were just about to fall asleep. Stay here as long as you like and pause the video. And when you're ready, bring your awareness to your breath. And bring some movement into your fingers and toes, your wrists and ankles. And inhale to stretch your arms overhead, maybe point the toes forwards, take a deep breath in. And exhale to release. And let your knees bend. And when you're ready, turn over onto your right side or side that feels good. And take as long as you need to press down through your top hand. Lift yourself back up to any comfortable seated position. Bring your hands to your heart center. Namaste.